Hi loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole. This is Nicole Haven's channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the place you should be trust me and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back i feel about faith relocation and my lifestyle here in the uk so please stick around watch my video to the very end like it subscribe to my channel and put on your post notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you will be the first person to get notified today's video i will be explaining how to make a proper uk cv someone has asked i think in one of my comment section or probably reached out to me on instagram i cannot remember where i got the question from but part of the list of the videos i plan to make i saw i wrote it there because someone requested for it so i'm as well just making this video for all especially people coming into the uk this september Ooh, like anytime i mention people coming to the uk september i'm always very very happy because I know this time last year this was just me planning to come to the uk by the way this is august by the time i'm filming this video few days to september right i mean today is august 21st right so um i'm just so excited about people coming into the uk september people already in the uk for september intake right as much as possible we're trying to you know if you're coming to the uk september you are trying to as well get a job you know the way we are studying we will also plan to get a job that we are you know do one or two things in our life right so i'll be telling you how to write a proper uk cv from my experience and from what i've learned and seen so far that is where i'll be talking about first of all i would say if you're coming from a place like nigeria the way we write our cv in nigeria is totally different from the way cv is done in the uk i wouldn't be saying much from the nigerian aspect because i really do not have much job experience in nigeria i could actually say i did not work in nigeria like like that so i cannot really tell what it means to have a proper nigerian cv compared to that of the uk right i finished school in 2020 served and i came for my masters in 2022 right so i didn't have the chance to work and apply to places for jobs so but from my experience here in the uk i'll be telling you how uk cv is written i'll be reading out my cv to you and i'll be telling you what to take note of and i will as well be pasting samples of uk cv up this could be this side or this side i think this side preferably i would be pasting what a uk cv looks like and i'll be telling you the essential things that need to be found in your cv first of all a uk cv should not be too long as much as possible that you have achieved you know a lot in your life you do not want to I mean fill your cv with so many things i think from experience and from what people have said so far people that tend to write so i mean all their achievements all what they've achieved they tend to just overlook it whenever they apply for jobs here in the uk like when you're writing your uk cv you should be brief and precise you don't want to go about beating around the bush you know you're trying to apply for maybe a care job and you know all your cv you are writing you've done phd in in a gray writing all of those stuff whatever job you are applying for try as much as possible to narrow your cv towards that direction you cannot be applying for a support job in the uk and you're telling us about your lecturing experience in nigeria you could add you could add it i'm not asking you i'm not asking you not to add it but i'm trying to say do not focus more on those experiences but try as much as possible to narrow your experience to the role as which you are applying for probably you are applying for a customer service representative job you could narrow your cv towards you know administrative experience you had back in your own country probably you've done a front desk officer or you've been a receptionist before coming or you've been you know something that just relates to you having to communicate and interact with people rather than you adding some other things which if you feel is necessary i'm not in the best position to tell you not to add what you wish to add but i will only advise you what i feel you should 
add and what not to add so first of all you should start your cv with writing your name you could make your name bold so that it is evident that this is your name you could add your address for my CV, I added my name, I added my address, my UK address, right? If you're just coming into the UK, you could just add the address of the location at which you're currently staying and as well had your UK number. You cannot be applying for a job in the UK and you had your and you had in your Nigerian number. Trust me, they will definitely not reach out to you because they expect you to be in the UK by the time you're applying for the job. So you have to add your UK number if you wish to I would advise you add it to the number because they could reach out to you when they see your CV but without you adding your number it should be difficult for them to probably reach out to you on call except they send back email to you but if they want to call you directly it's advisable you add in your UK line after your address and you could as well hide your email address so that they can reach out to you and send you email if they want to get back to you right and after that which is on top you could choose to have it by your side by the side or make it large on top i'll put in samples of cv so you can see how it is written then you want to talk about your profile your personal profile you could as well name it personal profile or professional profile depending on whatever you want to be in the content of the cv mine is personal profile this place you just tend to like sell yourself talk about what you do what you're capable of doing i mean just brief you don't want to write a page about your personal profile you're not writing um personal statements but you're just trying to like let's the i mean the employer knew a bit about you in your writing and you could as well make it professional profile if you've worked in that line in that aspect you're talking about what you've done and what you're planning to add to the company and all of this stuff but i'll be reading my personal profile to you and be skipping some parts i wrote i'm a dedicated support practitioner whose passion lies in providing compassionate care and support to individual with diverse needs in the uk there are so many jobs you could choose to go for there are support practitioner jobs care jobs warehouse jobs you know front desk officer communication jobs and many more jobs depending on what you want to do but for students you know, most of us tend to like try to do survival jobs first and after your school you know narrow your cv and start searching for that job you really want to do and you could as well start before you finish school i will advise whatever you want to do after school you could start before you finish school but by the time you get to the uk at first you know because you spend so much pounds into coming to the uk you just want to like anything to make this part i get that feeling so that's why i'm just reading my own personal profile so i wrote i have experience working in the learning disability facility where I have honored or skilled in tailoring my approach to meet the unique needs of each individual my top priority is to build trusting relationship with those i support and to work collaboratively with the family and other professionals to ensure that their needs are met in the most effective and compassionate way possible as much as possible you are trying to sell yourself and let them know you have experience in this thing and as well you are planning to be brief this cv i'm currently reading to you i'm channeling it towards a job i had previously done here in the uk if you are writing yours you know based on you know coming to the uk for the first time you could as well channel it to wherever you're coming from probably you want to go into the care sector you've never worked in the care sector here in the uk you want the employer to know that you have experience in this you know you're taking care of your grandparents your parents or probably you've cared for your your siblings children you know, let them just know that you are capable of doing this you've done this and if you've never done it before i don't advise people to lie in cv but as much as possible try to package your cv well you may find some people lying saying they have experience with this and then they request for reference letter and they don't provide it so as much as possible try to package your cv well but don't lie right 
so that's just it be truthful I wrote i understand the importance of being a reliable and empathic support to those in need and i take pride in helping them to achieve their goal goals and live life to the fullest so i'm trying to sell myself here that okay i'm very very nice and empathic and i understand the role as which i'm supposed to do and i'm you know my goal is to make sure these people are fine and make them you know just comfortable as much as possible so as much as possible try to sell yourself and just make the employer know that okay you are actually fit for this job bearing in mind that just the same way you apply for this job many people applied for this same position and what can distinguish you all is your cv and it does not have to do with experience okay it's because you have experience in this that's why you get the job no but because you're able to package your cv well you're able to sell yourself bro with the way you write i wish as possible you can write and then send to people to help you proofread and correct whatever needs to be corrected get someone to proofread for you after you've probably edited your cv by yourself so i'll just be very brief i don't want to read all that i've written and then i went to like i have my pvg and my ssc registration uh a testament to my commitment to upholding their highest standard of professionalism and ethical conduct in all aspects of my work so i just said more about myself and i also wrote as i look to expand my career beyond the learning disability scope i am excited about the opportunities to bring my empathic approach and extensive experience to new challenges like i'm actually open to work in any sector in this department not just because i've worked in this particular sector i'm actually open to working anywhere with the experience i've been able to achieve along the line i'm able to i'm open to learning and also working in another blah 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 so i just made my personal statements brief so you could as well just make your own brief and short you don't have to write a whole page for your personal statement i mean for your personal profile or if you want to call it professional profile so after this stage you then write um, your training certificate if you have trainees i mean certificates of this particular role that you are applying for you can add it to it i added my own training the certificates i had in it i had a couple of certificates which i added to my cv then you can move on to work experience so when you are arranging your work experience arrange it to the latest experience you have to the least you don't want to start your work experience from probably you started working in 2009 you don't want to start arranging them from 2009 2010 you start from 2022 to 2009 bearing in mind that the experience you are writing must relate to the role that which you are applying for right so i added my work experience and all my work experiences i added them and I, I, after that i added my education experience so they can know that the person they are employing is learned and i am you know i can be well articulated and i can as well fit into the role as which i'm applying for so apart from the fact that they will i mean invite you for interview your cv must sell you to the extent at which they, they will reach out to you and want to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with you right so if you want me to make a video on how to prepare for your uk interview questions to expect and how to answer them correctly please let me know in the comment section because it is not just about getting it's not just about applying for a job with your uk cv but what determines you getting the job is if you have a successful interview and they will reach out to you and actually employ you so that's what really matters it's not about the cv alone but about the interview but what makes way for the interview is if you have a good uk cv standard right so after my education experience i added reference but what i wrote for my reference is references are available on request right so you can as well just write that you know instead of just putting names of your lecturer or the person you work with when they want you they'll request for your references and then you will provide references for them but for people for us that are students some place of work request for your i mean academic reference which they want you to use your lecturer and what they mean by that is you know the school at which you i mean studying in the uk they want you to send in your lecturer's email so they can reach out to them and ask if indeed you're a student and they will as well ask for term time which shows that you're a student and you cannot work 
more than 20 hours in a week if you don't want to name your personal profile you could call it summary so it actually all depends on yourself but remember that the basic things that need to be in the cv should be there you must be brief you can have so many cvs if you're applying for communication role you can have a communication role cv you can have a care role cv you can have you know front desk officer cv you can have as many cv as possible narrowing down to the role at which you are applying for and that is how they can reach out to you if they see that indeed you have experience in the role at which you're applying for so you can as well name yours relevant skills instead of um, I, I named my um training certificate you can have you can you can call yours relevant skills and you know you highlight the the certifications you have the skills you've actually acquired over the years and you know your experience your education yours you could make your education come first before your experience it's all your choice but make sure that the main thing that needs to be found in a uk cv is found so my experience came in first before i added my education below is but yours you could make your education come first and add your experience job experience at the end the few things i've been able to say you're able to understand one or two ways at which you can write a successful uk cv to get you that job you actually want here in the uk so i hope this video was helpful to you i hope you're able to learn a thing or two please if you did smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you are yet to and leave a lovely comment in the comment section please do not forget to put on your post notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you'll be the first person to get notified so it's like come your way again please stay blessed and i will see you in the next video bye